technology is invented and new equipments are created. Trees are cut down, new houses are built. All of these are supposed to make life easier and more prosperous. Unfortunately, this advances not only creates prosperity, as we hope, but also cause something miserable, namely global war. David 18, chief of scientific advisor to the British government says that climate change is the most serious problem that we are facing today. More serious even than the threat of terrorism. We already have too much carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the air. According to Dr. James Hansen, an American climatologist, current amount of carbon dioxide is about 385 parts per million. Why? The total amount of carbon dioxide is about 350 parts per million. It means that the must real action to save the Earth. The question is, who should take part in the action? The governments? Politicians? Technocrats? All of you? Me? Or who else? Ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion, everybody should be responsible for reducing carbon dioxide. What should we do to reduce global warming? Yes, one man should plant at least one tree. By planting more trees, carbon dioxide will be reduced. Trees absorb carbon dioxide even than the threat oxygen. Oxygen is a vital thing for human beings. We can't live without oxygen, can we? What do you think, guys? Do you agree if everybody should plant at least one tree? Do you agree, guys? Yes. yes. Well, that's all for now. Thank you very much for your attention and forgive me for any mistakes. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I'd like to thank God, the creator of the universe for his glory and mercy. Peace and salutation be pardonable missionary Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The last prophet who leads us from darkness to lightness. On this occasion, I'd like to deliver a speech entitled, One Man, One Tree to Save Our Earth. Ladies and gentlemen, the earth is a planet where many creatures, including human beings, live on. Due to the fact that human beings are the smartest creature in the universe, the population is getting greater and greater nowadays. With its intelligence, human beings have made so many advances. Technology is invented, new equipment are created, trees are cut down, new houses are built. All of these are supposed to make life easier and more prosperous. Unfortunately, these advances not only create prosperity, as we hope, but also the something travel, namely global warming. Ladies and gentlemen, David the King, chief scientific advisor to the British government, says that climate change is the most serious problem that we are facing today. More serious even than the threat of terrorism. We already have too much carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the air. According to Dr. James Hansen, an American climatologist, current amount of carbon dioxide is about 385 parts per million, while the tolerable amount 350 parts per million. It means that there must be an action to save the Earth. The question is, who should take part in the action? The government, politicians, technocrat, user, you know, and who else? In my opinion, everybody should be responsible for reducing carbon dioxide. What should we do to reduce global warming? Yes, one man should plant at least one tree. By planting more trees, carbon dioxide will be reduced. Trees absorb carbon dioxide then produce oxygen. Oxygen is a further thing for human beings. 
we can't live without oxygen. Can we? What do you think, guys? Do you agree if everybody should punch at least one tree? Do you agree, guys? Yes. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you very much for your attention and for giving me more game mistakes. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Honorable judges, respectable speakers, and all beloved audiences. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I'd like to thank God, the creator of the universe, for his glory and mercy. Peace and salutation be upon the noble messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the last prophet who led us from darkness to light. On this occasion, I'd like to deliver a speech entitled One Man, One Tree to Save Our. Ladies and gentlemen, the Earth is a planet where many creatures, including human beings, live on. Due to the fact that human beings are the smartest creature in the universe, the population is getting greater and greater nowadays. With its intelligence, human beings have made so many advances. Technology is invented and new equipments are created. Trees are cut down. New houses are built. All of these are supposed to make life easier and more prosperous. Unfortunately, these advances not only create prosperity, as we hope, but also cause something miserable, namely global warming. David Aiki, chief scientific advisor to the British government, says that climate change is the most serious problem that we are facing today more serious even than the threat of terrorism. We already have too much of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the air. According to Dr. James Jensen, an American climatologist, carbon amount of carbon dioxide is about 385 parts per million, while the total amount is 350 parts per million. It means that there must be real action to save the earth. The question is, who should take part in the action? The government? Politicians? Technocrats? Or you everybody? Or who else? In my opinion, everybody should be responsible for reducing carbon dioxide. What should we do to reduce global warming? Yes, one man should plant at least one tree. By planting more trees, carbon dioxide will be reduced. Trees absorb carbon dioxide that produce oxygen. Oxygen is a valuable thing for human beings. We can't live without oxygen, can we? What do you think, guys? Do you agree if everybody should plant at least one tree? Do you agree, guys? Yes. yes. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you very much for your attention and forgive me for any mistakes. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Respectable speakers and all beloved audiences. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I'd like to thank God, the creator of the universe, for his glory and mercy. Peace and salutation be upon the Prophet Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The last Prophet who leads us from darkness to lightness. On this occasion, I'd like to deliver a speech entitled 
one man, one tree to save our earth. Ladies and gentlemen, the earth is a planet where many creatures, including human beings, live on. Due to the fact that human beings are the smartest creatures in the universe, the population is getting greater and greater nowadays. With this intelligence, human beings have made so many advances. Technology is invented and new equipment are created. Trees are cut down, new houses are built. All of this are supposed to make life easier and more prosperous. Unfortunately, these advances not only create prosperity, as we hope, but also cause something miserable, namely global warming. According to David King, chief scientific advisor to the British government says that climate change is the most serious problem that we are facing today. More serious even than the threats of terrorism. We already have too much carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the air. According to Dr. Jen Jensen, an American climatologist, current amount of carbon dioxide is about 385 parts per million. One to the rebel is 350 parts per million. It means that there must be action to save the earth. The question is, who should take part in action? The governments, politicians, technocrats, or who else? In my opinion, everybody should be responsible for reducing carbon dioxide. What should you do to reduce global warming? Yes, one man should plant at least one tree. By planting more trees, carbon dioxide will be reduced. Three steps of carbon dioxide then produce oxygen. Oxygen is a better thing for human beings. We can't live without oxygen, can we? What do you think, guys? Do you agree? If everybody should plant every one tree, do you agree, guys? Yes. yes. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you very much for your attention and for giving for any mistakes. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Oh, makan ya. Uh, terima kasih atas partisipasinya. Gimana tadi lombanya? Bisa aja. 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 Ada kesan? Apa ya? Ada kesan nggak? Pakan kesannya luar biasa. Uh, apa namanya? Kita kan kemarin jadi untuk uh, hadiah itu akan dapat pedali ya. Cuma medalnya itu masih dipesan, belum jadi oh, gitu oh, kan oh, Jadi oh, nah, nanti, nanti kita akan yang menang e, Nanti kan ketahuan siapa Jadi nanti e, akan kita datangin ke sekolahnya Untuk kita bawain medalinya Tapi tetap akan dapat Cuma memang masih dipesan nah, e, Masih belum jadi medalinya Bisa diantar, bisa diambil Iya, <laughs> diantar lah Diantar lah, nanti diantar e, Kita langsung aja ya kita langsung aja untuk speech contest um, kebetulan cuma ada lima ya tadi yang hadir ya cuma ada lima uh, kita ngambil juara satu sampai tiga sama juga dengan storytelling juga satu sampai tiga kalau storytelling tadi lumayan banyak ya ada berapa lima belas ya ada lima belas anak satunya enggak sama juga juga akan kita ambil satu sampai tiga Hari ini uh, akan ada pembagian hadiah dengan uh, sertifikat partisipasi uh, Sertifikat achievementnya nanti akan menyusul sama medalinya bareng Sama medalinya nanti akan dikasih Jadi sekarang sertifikat participationnya aja sama uh, hadiahnya Untuk yang menang Untuk yang menang ya Kalau yang nggak menang uh, Jangan bersedih Nanti dicoba lagi Makan Makanya, 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 makanya
bakal ya. <laughs> ceritanya sudah kita jadi ceritanya dikit bisa <laughs> aja ngambil ya udah um, untuk speech contest uh, juara satunya kita panggil Kevin Purwatra Gede dulu ya Terus yang kedua, juara duanya Syafina Syukriya Dan juara ketiganya M. Hafiz Juara satunya Bisa diserahkan Bisa malah dulu ya Oh iya Jadi 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 Yang ketiganya Miss Rima Miss Rima M. Hafiz Yang ketiganya Miss Rima Miss Rima M. Hafiz 